I have no idea what that was. I don't even know if it picked up on the speaker. Hey everybody! That was too much, but it's me, it's Daniel. So one day Kevin calls me up and asks me if I want to go four-wheeling with him. And since I had nothing to do that day, I was like, hmm, okay. Yeah, we figured it was a good way to hang out and not lose any money, if you know what I mean. Keep that in mind as the story progresses, if it does progress. So anyway, we get to a four-wheeler park and we go four-wheeling. On his four-wheeler, he's driving. Not even a minute into the park, we come across a puddle of mud. We see this puddle of mud and Kevin's thinking on going in. Like, four-wheeler wise. Anyway, you get the point. I'm at the back telling him, Kevin, don't do it. Don't do it. And he's at the front, all like, man, grow up already. He goes for it. And we get stuck. In my head, I'm going, told you not to do it. And he's all like, shut up, Daniel. After about 30 to 40 minutes, we get unstuck and Go off again! Two hours later, we get stuck again. Only this time, we can't get out. And we can't leave the four-wheeler in the four-wheeler park because it might get stolen. And it's been raining on and off all day. I don't think it's going to get stolen. But Kevin insists that we stay. And, you know, I'm just chilling. I say nothing. Oh, I wish I did. So anyway, since we were stuck there all afternoon, and it was really hot outside, if and I had money, it fell on to me to keep us hydrated. We did leave the four-wheeler park a couple times, but only to hydrate. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, what else happened? I'm trying to remember this frame by frame. Mm -hmm. As the day progresses. Anyway, at one point, Kevin asked me to go to the truck and get something. I go to the truck. I get what he wanted. And out of impulse, I lock us out of the truck. I told Kevin what happened, and he so wanted to strangle me at that point. And I don't blame him. Because at that point, we were literally stuck at that park. I don't know why I locked it, okay? It was just impulse. Stop judging me, Kevin. But yeah, not only did I have to keep us hydrated, but then I had to, we had to call a locksmith to unlock the truck. Eventually we did get out of that park with the four-wheeler, but here's the thing. That trip was the most expensive trip, in fact, the most expensive escapade we've ever had. We went in, expecting not to spend a dime, and went home empty-pocketed. Did I mention that no one was there at the time except me and him? I have nothing else to say about this. So, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. So, um, later. All that money, though.